Are sneakers boring now? All right, so word on the street is sneakers are boring. Sneakers are boring now. Sneakers are boring now. Sneakers are boring to talk about right now. There's nothing interesting going on in the sneaker world. I've been hearing this thing on the internet lately that sneaker culture right now is boring. Now I am acutely aware of the potential irony at play. If this video doesn't get any views, then it's going to serve as great evidence in favor of the proposition that sneakers are indeed boring. But what I wanna do is I wanna talk about this idea from both sides. I do think there is a case to say that sneakers are boring, but I do also on the other side think that sneakers are actually not boring at all. And so let's start off with the reasons why sneakers are boring. The general feeling that I'm getting from people that are putting this claim out there is that the reason that sneakers are boring now is basically because views are down. Likes are down, engagement's down. And unless you're talking about the latest or the next up and coming hyped up sneaker, your video is not likely to gain traction with a particularly large audience. And I think generally speaking, this seems to be the case. If you look around your favorite sneaker content creators on YouTube or TikTok or IG, there's a very small subset of creators who are still generating high views on a consistent basis. I do think it's a little bit more nuanced than that. And to understand the fall off in attention given to sneaker content, I think we first need to look at how sneaker content became so popular. In the early 2010s through to the mid 2010s, sneaker content really blew up in a big way on YouTube, thanks to channels like Caius Omar and Crew Kicks, channels like Blazendary, Foma Simpson, Tony d 2 wild these types of characters with their vlog style sneaker content and their latest pickups and their skits and stuff were doing a lot to push sneaker culture out to a big audience. Whilst I didn't watch these guys personally, I did did really enjoy watching Nice Kicks. I especially loved their sneak peek episodes where they would feature the collections of some of the most prominent and well-known sneaker collectors in the world. I used to absolutely love watching episodes with people like The Perfect Pair or Greg Streets, DeMar DeRozan. Sneaker content on YouTube in the mid 2010s for me was elite. Running adjacent to this really popular sneaker content on YouTube, you had the sneaker content on IG. Some of the most popular sneaker content on IG was from creators who were putting together these really ridiculously expensive hype beast outfits. This well signaling cost maxing content was all the rage through the hype beast era. I don't need to tell you guys just how influential TikTok, the pandemic, and the last dance were on sneaker content culture. Sneaker head check, your beater sneaker. We about to do a sneaker meetup. Let's see what we finesse in. Ooh, how much you looking for these, dog? Sneaker head check. Sneaker head challenge. I'm a sneaker head. Oh. Cheap versus expensive. Wait, are you following us on TikTok? Would you trade the shoes off your feet for these? This guy destroyed a pair of $15,000 dunks. Becoming a successful sneaker content creator in 2020 was about as easy as flashing a pair of shoes you own in front of a camera, mixing it with a trending sound. Sharing your collection, talking about sneaker history, sharing your latest pickup, adapting trends from other niches to the sneaker niche, talking about shoes that are coming up, talking about resell, talking about how to get sneakers, talking about how to clean up sneakers, how to find steals. Between sneaker collector culture, hype beast culture, resale culture, you had this absolute cauldron of sneaker content activity. And because sneakers were the it thing and have been the it thing for a number of years now, there were more and more people out there wanting to consume this content, wanting to learn, wanting to participate, wanting to buy shoes. It's a very little wonder that a whole bunch of sneaker content creators were getting inundated with views and engagements and praise and likes. And now that those taps have been turned down for some and off for many. Some people wanna say that sneakers are now boring. Sneakers are boring now. Now, whilst I can agree that for a lot of people, views are down, engagement's down, generally speaking, in 2024, people are a little bit more preoccupied with keeping the lights on at home, paying the bills, focusing on some real life matters, as well as the fact that there are a lot of other big things out there happening in the world that are much more worthy of people's attention. I don't doubt for a second that for the casual participants in sneaker culture or the type of person that's just 
gotten older and become less fussed with shoes. Sneaker content in general is boring now. But I think for a number of sneaker content creators, they can't so much as blame sneakers for being boring as they can blame themselves. You see, I've seen a lot of sneaker content creators out there blow up for a certain type of video or for following one particular trend. If you manage to hit on a really big trend and adapt it in a creative way to the sneaker niche and really rinse out that idea, you can generate millions of views and you can generate a whole ton ton of followers. The problem is when that trend has passed or when it gets old, because you've been so reliant on it, it ends up becoming the thing that you're known for. And it can also be the same thing that people unfollow you for because they're sick of it. And so I feel like a lot of sneaker content creators out there have been too focused on being one dimensional. They haven't kept things interesting for their audience and themselves. And now that people en masse aren't as interested in sneakers as they used to be, they don't have the creative capacity to arrest your attention and keep you captivated. And so this brings me to the opposite end of the spectrum, which is to say that sneakers are not boring. In fact, this is a fantastic time in sneakers for the likes of you and me. We can once again buy the sneakers that we want to buy at retail. We don't have to battle so many bots or overpay on the resale market. Used market is once again a really awesome place to find steals and deals. And if you're not dead set on buying the latest hyped up collab, there are heaps of really cool shoes going on sale right now. If you just take some of the biggest sneaker news stories from the past like one or two weeks, we have one of the biggest sneaker lawsuit settlements between Nike and Bape. This is humongous news. We have the raiding of Panda Warehouse and the threatening of the entire fake sneaker paradigm on the table. We've got a huge month of sneaker releases with collabs from the likes of Futura and J Balvin and Travis Scott. We've got so many more different sneaker trends popping up from different precincts of the fashion and streetwear community. We're in a time where we have big sneakers to look forward to from the likes of New Balance and Asics. Adidas are dominating the basketball scene right now. Sneakers from a current events perspective have hardly ever been more exciting in my opinion. Sneakers are boring to talk about right now. There's never been more material out there as a content creator to draw from in order to produce quality content. I don't feel like sneaker content is boring. I feel like sneaker content creators got boring because they became too reliant on these trends and these lazy forms of at one point trending content that blew them up in certain moments. I think the reality is, is that resale culture has died off. And if you predicated a lot of your content on the resale and on the hype, you were always doomed to failure because that stuff always had a shelf life and an expiration date. And at this point in time, that time is up. I'm still here for sneakers. I'm still all about it. I think it is a wonderful time to be a sneaker content creator. I'm highly motivated to continue to bring you guys quality sneaker content, both short form and long form. Feel free to let me know what you guys think down below. Are sneakers boring now or are you still rocking with it? Let me know. Thanks again for taking the time to watch. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care for now and peace.